In his daily walks and talks with travelers on Interstate 40, David Miller's top two requests for viewing were teepees, check, and American bison, check. Yeah, they've turned out real well. Welcome to the Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge Buffalo Auction. Last fall, David took his checkbook to the Wichita Wildlife Area's annual buffalo auction. He came back with five healthy animals, two young bulls and three heifers. So anyhow, we've got the buffalo, and now we got our teepees. They're pretty easy to feed. Still wild, but generally calm in their sturdy enclosure. Yeah. Seems like they get to know you. Oh, yeah. But uh, that still would hurt you. One of the females he bought, though, kept getting bigger. And early this week, he found out why. His large female bison birth to calf. And one of the customers been out here to look at them and they come in and told me there's something wrong with that little calf out there and that cow and I said no she just had that calf and so that's when I first knew that we had a calf. Miller does say his RV guests are staying in Oklahoma City longer these days. More things to see and do. The little buffalo baby oh. is icing on the cake. Everybody has to see the baby buffalo. Turned out real well. Warrior girl no one's been able to get close enough. North American bison make extremely protective mothers. Miller put up a double fence and some very plain signage, but this new mom thinks even a feature photographer looks like trouble. <laughs> yeah, she wants to make sure nobody's going to hurt her little baby. He originally went to the auction for two buffalo, bought five. Springtime brings number six to a busy spot on the Great Plains. Not the entire Oklahoma experience, but a nice little chunk right here. In Oklahoma City, Galen Culver, News Channel 4. Is this a great state or what?